Hey everyone, it's time for another MAK book review. Today's book is The Monster at the End of This Book by John Stone. Here's my shark review. Now, Grover, who is a Sesame Street character, if you don't know, he is this furry, lovable, blue character. Everyone loves Grover. He is awesome. And he's the main character of this book. And on the very first page of this book, he welcomes you into onto Sesame Street. However, he has a warning. A warning of something that is going to happen at the end of the book. And at that moment, the reader has to make a decision. Now, do they progress and, and push through some scary stuff to figure out the mystery at the end of the book? Or do they close that book right up and set it down and just be done with it? It's up for the reader to decide. Now, a little bit of a spoiler. Spoiler alert. It is very important that if you read, keep turning the pages, be warned that the obstacles get bigger and harder and more difficult to push through with every page. Got that? Okay, back to the review. So my recommendation of this book, this is a suspense thriller kids book. Did you think there could be a book like that? Well, this is one. Now, if you like Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None, if you like Jan Martel's The Life of Pi, they have very intense stories, crazy endings. If you like those books, you are gonna love The Monster at the End of This Book. My review for this book. Now, this book, I have read this ever since I was little and I've enjoyed reading this book to lots of kids, including my own kids. And it never ceases to thrill an audience. Because it is so good and because Grover is such a lovable furry character, I give this book four and a half sharks out of five. That's my review.